Hello guys, this is Walid. I am a game developer and today's episode I'm reviewing a game done by an indie game artist. And today's game is a game named Swing Boy developed by an indie artist named on itch.io Yellow Byte Studios and on YouTube Bobby TV. So I don't know which is the right name. Uh, initial advice I can give to you and to any indie game developer, make yourself a brand. When you give me like a studio name, I expect much more from the game because I feel, oh, there is a team behind it, it's a studio quality thing. If it's only you, don't name it studio, just name it yourself. Your name can be a brand. As simple as this. And when I checked the YouTube channel of the developer, I didn't see anything about the game. This is something not good. Or maybe there is another channel, I'm not sure, I don't know, but I see that's the only channel I could find. You need to engage more with people. The marketing of an indie game starts by you. Go play the game, show your face, let people know who you are. Your story is what markets the game, not the game itself, because whatever in the game you are doing, it cannot be that good to a level that, oh, everybody will run to play it. It's your story. Like Ponty Pants with his mind loop or his punch a punch, it's his story that made me play his games, not the game itself, because if I say mind loop, Play, maybe I play it, I like it, I will re, I will forget it after 5 minutes because it's a game like many other games like you know these 2D pixel arts there's a lot of this category it's not like Call of Duty where I go oh it's a stunning game so as I said try to engage with the audience make yourself a brand and but that doesn't affect my review and by the way reviewing a game doesn't mean I should only say the good things Mind Loop was really a great game but when I review a game it can be positive or negative depends on what I see okay Go to the game page on Switch.io, you can play it in the browser. Uh, I'm not a big fan of playing games in the browsers, I prefer to play them on my desktops. I feel always like I need the full screen, I need the higher frame rate, all of that. So, but, uh, he has a very nice page, everything. Okay, he has some development logs, that's good, some comments as he is replying. Uh, nice, nice, nice. Download, you can name your own price, that's something good with each. I started, I downloaded it for free, but really, if I like the game by the end of this video, I'm gonna pay something for it. Because even I'm just reviewing it for me, if I see efforts need to be appreciated, they have to be appreciated. That's how I think. Okay guys, I downloaded the game, I tried it for like 5 minutes just to make sure it's working, I don't want to put all the setup and start recording when the game is not working or it's just like a big bug named a game. Okay, let's start by the main menu, which I like very much. You give me impression what's inside the game, the pixel art you have. The contrast between the background and foregrounds. I see these bricks are light, bright color, which means I can interact with, and the white stroke helps a lot. The background ones, darker, which means I, I can't interact with. Clear thing. Okay, so let's start it. So... Physics in this game are very nice, like, it's high quality physics. It feels like superhero physics where you can jump higher. See, for example, if I am stopping here and jumping, this is what where I can achieve. But repeat the same jump with little bit running in the beginning and see I can reach the top. And when you land, there is some, or when you stop walking, there is some deacceleration de happening. You feel like... Uh, you feel the speed, you feel the flow of this game. I like how the camera is smoothly forming the character, you don't feel the character is stuck in the middle. It's nice. Okay, let's take this coin, which I don't know what's, what, what it does. It's just a single score thing. I reach here, use spacebar to swing boy. Okay, nice. Okay, nice swinging. Okay, swinging. Nice, nice. I can go up and down while swinging to control my position, maybe give myself more speed, collect more coins. Nice. Okay. Let's see if WASD or only the arrows are working. Okay, W and... Oh, that's a bug or a mistake. The arrows, left and right, work like this. The up jumps. WASD, the A and D works like this, but the W doesn't jump. Either disable A and D or enable the W. You cannot make half sections working. So, 
just take care of this bug, but it's not a big deal. But if someone is used, for me, I'm used for pixel games like this to use the arrows. But if I am used only, only to do USD, I'll find it weird. There's no jump. Okay. Now, let's jump here. Okay, there's a white rail. Okay. It took me a really few minutes in the beginning to understand that white rails are for swinging, other objects are not. Uh, so what I recommend, change the rope color to something other than white and change the rail to something other than white. The, I, what I mean, the white stroke on everything is letting me think that anything I can interact with, I can swing. If it's only the rails, you need to me give me some visual distinction to know this is where I can interact. But uh, after a few minutes, it wasn't a problem anymore. I'm just giving some stuff maybe to pay for the game. That doesn't mean the game itself is bad. I really enjoyed the first level and now I'm enjoying it again. I only played the first level to try the game. And still I enjoy to play the same level again with no problems and still find it's fun. The swinging mechanics make, make it very, very nice. Okay, make it longer. Swing in this direction. Wow, nice. Okay. Impressive, but still much to learn, boy. Okay, let's see what's still learned. Very nice. Next level. First time I play level 2. Okay. Let's see what he can tell me first. Swing in a full circle to build speed. Okay, I can simply do a full circle. Just make it longer. Let's use the arrows to increase the speed. <sighs> oh, it's too fast. I need, to, I think, to come on top of this brick. Okay. What's next? I don't know it's only me or it's really hard. I found this too hard for our beginning for level 2. It's too hard. Like by chance I could do it the first time and see what's in the top. Especially it doesn't tell me what's in the top. Okay, finally I could pass it. But it's really very hard for level 2. I think the beginning should be easier for this level. I prefer to take stairs. What, the, what does it mean? Okay, they told me this thing is a checkpoint. Nice, nice. Checkpoint system. Okay, platforming. Okay. So, should I go to the top or to the bottom? That's a question. Oh, that's the end of the level. Okay, so... The levels are too short. I prefer longer levels with more ch challenges or more swinging, really, depending on the difficulty of the end beginning of the level, so... To spend more time in it... No, I think the levels are too short. Okay, I like the death effect where this blood and... And there is a small screen when you die. There is, this guy really took care of uh, the sound design in a very good way. I just don't like the music, it's not like the mu- The game has bad music, it's my test of the music is different than this, I don't like this Even when I used to play the Atari days, like, I used to do not like that music How come I will pass this? Again, the same mistake The beginning of levels are very hard while the levels are too short Give me, like, longer levels with a smooth gradual difficulty that goes up while I progress more in level, not like the beginning because look, if the beginning of something is very hard mostly I will stop playing it I need to give it longer swing oh, it's very hard the spider-man cannot do this okay, anyway I think I tried the game enough, I can give my impression about it. The game is nice, pixel art is good, sound design is good, physics are nice but you need time to get used to it. So 
If you are a fan of 2D games, you will like this game very much. I am not a big fan of this pixel art games and even this, I feel a little bit engaged. My only comment is really work on the difficulty to be gradual and make the levels a little bit longer, but game done by one guy with this quality, you know what? It deserves the support. So five dollars. I'm paying it with PayPal. Here's goes your five dollars. You really deserve it and really. Whenever you improve this game more, just send me a message. I am willing to try it again to give you more feedback. So maybe you make an Android version and I will be willing to review it also. I think these controls on a mobile phone will be crazy, will be nice, will be a nice challenge while playing it while sitting on your toilet. So anyway guys, that's it the review for today. Hope you like it. If you have games you want me to try, send me down in the comment section and see you next time.